Some people think that kissing is disgusting. Well, some people think it's quite nice. Well, take a look at this and make your own mind up. I'm going to show you how bacteria are good for you. Look at all of these people. Now, they all look different, but they all have something in common. Every single one of them is covered in millions of bacteria. We all are. But don't worry, this is completely normal. In fact, we need bacteria to survive. Now, this is a Petri dish, named after its inventor, Julius Richard Petri. Doctors like me use these dishes to grow bacteria and see what lives on our bodies. That's what I'm going to do now, starting with our lips. Who's going to give me a kiss? Anyone going to give me a kiss? What I want is a kiss, a nice big kiss on that. What we're trying to do is look at what grows in people's mouths and things like that. Carrots. <laughs> <laughs> Carrots? Will anyone give you a kiss? Can I ask your girlfriend for a kiss? A more manly kiss from you, all right? <laughs> Can we get a nose pick as well? It's less exciting than a kiss. <gasps> Just going to see what comes out of people's noses and what comes out of their mouths. I can't do this in the street. I've got to put up my nose. Come on. Oh, you are good. That's gross. He's a nice man, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, thanks. The kisses and nose swabs will now go off to be grown in a special laboratory. And after five days, it's time to see how the bacteria have blossomed. This is Dr Richard Drew, microbiologist and expert in all things gross. And now the kisses have gone all furry. Well, that's bacteria for you. Mm -hmm. So what kind of bugs have we got here? We have a lot of streptococci, which is kind of the slightly greeny colour around the lips. But up here where their nose would have been, you can see the yellowy bugs growing. And these ones are more like Staphylococcus aureus. Sounds like a dinosaur. It's completely normal to have these bugs in your mouth. So all of us have them. We could have got a kiss from everyone in Liverpool and they all would have grown these two bacteria. Absolutely. You might think it's disgusting, but bacteria are really useful. They're important to have. For example, we've got bugs in our gut and they help to digest food. And they fight disease too, by increasing the acidity in your gut to the point bad bacteria don't want to move in. So what about the weird things that live up our nose? This one we found a lot of E. coli and a lot of Staphylococcus as well. Now, E. coli can be dangerous. They do cause disease, but living up your nose or, commonly, living up your bottom is completely normal and completely safe. It's when it gets into blood or other bits of your body which shouldn't have it, like the brain or the joints, that it can cause problems. This one looks like cheesecake. Mmm, yummy. So our bodies are covered in bacteria, but that's not just normal, it's good, because our bodies are amazing at protecting the bits that need to be protected, which is why kissing is fine. Bit disgusting, but fine. <laughs>